Hey maker, I'm Angel with PeaceFun.com. Today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful fantasy cape. Now I have a lot of different kinds of capes, but this is unique in the fact that it is not designed to cover or to warm you. It is in fact just designed so it's just an extra piece of your costume and you can see more of your costume underneath. It has kind of that fun Morticia Adams vibe, even though I look more like Wednesday today. In any case, for this project you will need the following. For this cloak you will need four and an eighth yards of tulle, fine netting or mesh that needs to be at least 55 inches wide, two yards of satin blanket binding, rotary blade, ruler and mat, and sewing essentials, sewing machine, pins, thread, that sort of thing. Now this cape does not require a pattern. It is basically two rectangles, but because of this, it makes it kind of hard to show how to make. So I'll, I'll do my best with graphics and things like that to show you how to make it. But just keep in mind we're dealing with two large, tri um, two large rectangles and it's, it's hard to film that because we're dealing with so much fabric. Now, we need to talk about the type of fabric that I'm using. I am using, you can use a couple of different kinds. You can use a tool or you can use a, a fine mesh. And um, these that I found were actually, I found them in the costuming um, fabric section. That's why I found like this cool one and stuff. Um, look around and find it. But the reason specifically I am using this is that they do not require the ends to be finished. So if you use something fancy like, oh, uh, a gauze or a crypt de chine or something like that, you will need to finish those edges. If you've, <laughs> if you've watched more on my channel, you know that I have kind of a different attitude when it comes to costumes. It's just get her done. And so you can just leave the edges raw on this, which I love because you can just make it look fabulous and move on with your life. All right, now that you have all those items, we need to start by cutting out the cape. How to make a cloak in 20 minutes. Easy. Step one, cut out the cloak pieces. We're going to make this in 20 minutes, so let's get going. The cloak is made up of four pieces, two hood pieces and two cape pieces. So when it comes to these fabrics, they're usually wider in their width, but we're gonna use all of that width, so just cut all the way across. You will need to cut the two hood pieces. For the adult, it will be 20 inches long and the width of the fabric. For kids, six to 12, simply cut one hood piece that is 16 inches long and the width of the fabric. And for kids three to six, cut one hood that is 12 inches long and the width of the fabric. If you don't want the hood as long as it is down the back, just only use one width of the fabric instead of two. Now you can actually make this different lengths. You can make it all the way to the floor if you want to. You can make it a half cape or a capelet. It's really up to you, so you will need to decide. You're the designer here. How long do you want the cape part to be? For the cape body for children, cut one cape piece that is the length you desire by the width of the fabric. For the main body of the cape, you'll need to cut two rectangles, the length that you want the cape to be by the width of the fabric. For the adult cape, you should have two hood rectangles that are 20 inches by the width of the fabric and two cape rectangles that are the width of the fabric by the length you desire. Note, the cape width is very generous, but you can add more to the cape body if you want to. All right, now that we have that cut out and it was really fast, it's time to start sewing. Step two, prep the hood. With right sides together, pin the hood pieces together along the short side, making the two rectangles one long strip. Sew together using a half inch seam allowance. Here's a graphic to show another way to look at it. Now that the hood is one long strip, it's time to make the top and bottom to it. On the side that you want to be the bottom, run a basting stitch for gathering at the neck. This will be the bottom of the hood. If you are not familiar with a basting stitch, I have a tutorial for you that explains what a basting stitch is here. Check it out. Now fold the hood in half so right sides are touching and the ends meet. Sew the top of the hood together using a half inch seam allowance. Here's a graphic to clarify. Okay, I'm just gonna take a quick second in the middle of the tutorial and ask if you could please hit that like button. It's not easy doing all of this on my own and that like button, it just, it does a lot for my channel and it's just a quick click for you. Really appreciate it, thanks. Oh, and while you're clicking, why not hit subscribe too? Step three, prep the cloak. Now it's time to sew the cape pieces together. 
Like with the hood, the two cape pieces need to be sewn together to make one long rectangle. With right sides together, pin along the short side of the cape, that's the selvage edges, and sew together using a half inch seam allowance. If you're making a kid's cape with one panel, you'll skip this step. Now that it's one long rectangle, run a basting stitch along the top of the cape for gathering at the neckline. Now that the cape and hood are sewn, it's time to gather them a little. Since the lengths are so long, take a little time to gather the top of the cape and the bottom of the hood in preparation for the next step. All right, now that we have that set up, we're going to gather it to the length for the neckline. Step four, how to make a cloak. Let's bring this fabulous cloak together. Measure out the satin binding. For adults, I recommend two yards. For kids, six to 12, one and a half yards and for three to five, one and a quarter yards. Note, this makes a bow with longer tails. You are welcome to shorten it to suit your style. Just make sure there's enough length to tie. All right, now for an adult, it's going to be about 20 inches. If you're plus size, I'm gonna recommend that you add two to three inches on, onto that, so on each side. So that would put it at like 24 inches if you just want a little more space. Grab the satin blanket binding. Find the center and mark it on the inside. For adults, measure 10 inches from either side of the center mark so the neckline is 20 inches total. For kids six to 12, that should be 16 inches, so eight inches on either side. And kids three to five, it should be 14 inches, seven inches on either side of the center mark. Now, I know this is kind of funky and I'll kind of show you how it works on the cape because when the hood's down, it looks like this and it looks really nice actually. So. It actually looks nice when the hood's down. And when the hood's up, you can't even see like where it's at. So it'll look normal. It might seem strange to you right now as you're sewing and putting it together. Trust me, it'll look good. Do it this way. You should have three marks on the binding, the center, the beginning of the neckline, and the end of the neckline. Open up the binding. Gather the cape body so the right side is facing up. Now, pull the basting stitch so the gathers are evenly distributed and the gathered fabric is the length of the neckline, the markings we just made. Now, get the hood piece. Right side of the hood fabric should be touching the right side of the cloak body we just gathered. Wrong side should be facing up at you. Gather the basting stitch to the neckline, like we just did with the cape. Line up the gathered edges of the hood and the cape body and place in the binding right up to the crease. Now, I am using satin binding just because it's really easy. It's already in half, but if you have really wide ribbon that you found on sale or something like that, you'll just want to press it in half and that will work as well. To finish up the DIY cloak, we're going to sew the binding shut by top stitching along the edge of the binding for the entire length, sewing the hood and cape to it in the process. Tip, pin the section with the hood and cape well. All right, now that we have everything gathered, we are just going to sew it all together and it's just one long seam all across that ribbon. Start at the end of the binding and sew all the way to the other end. It's a lot of layers to sew through when you get to the cape and hood. So take your time and go slow. Be mindful that the fabric doesn't bunch up under the needle. One last thing, you're gonna to want to run a lighter along the edge that you cut so it's finished and it doesn't break. Trim your threads and that's it. You have a cute cape with a dramatic hood that can work for different costumes. Tip, while I love the dramatic length of the adult hood, you can make it shorter by shortening the length of the hood pieces. I love that this adds to the costume, but you can still see what is being worn beneath it. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome videos just like this one. And that's it. You have this great cape. I love it because you can see your costume underneath, but it adds another fun layer to it. It's very dramatic and it is very fast and easy to make. Win-win, right? If you like this tutorial, I have several more on my website, pleasefun.com, that I think you'll enjoy. Bunch of different cape patterns. I have witch hats, I have top hats, I have all kinds of good stuff, so be sure to check that out there or here on my YouTube channel. And let me know in the comments below 
Did you like Morticia Adams? Do, do you like her vibe or did she scare you as a child? <laughs>